This is a man who needs no introduction. Harrison, this guy is one of the scariest fighters in this tournament. And his team really needs a KO victory right now. And if anybody, this is the man that can bring it. You're absolutely right. He's got powerful, heavy kicks. He needs to use those, work the body and legs early. And when you're able to, especially when you come out with heavy leg kicks early, it gets him thinking about it. It's going to open up his boxing. Once his boxing is effective, it's going to continue to open up the legs. And as long as he can balance his attack, it's going to be a devil. Could get that devastating knockout he needs. Now, this is the beauty of this fighter. In his last fight, we all expected him to come out with such a bang, use those heavy kicks, rough out his opponent. But no, he took his time, stayed patient, took to the took the fighter to the ground and submitted him. Representing the Bengaluru Tigers here tonight is Sham Prasad. Unfortunately, in his last outing, he was submitted but put up a great, great fight. And he looks to take his team further into the lead here tonight. But you know what? As the score stands right now, Harrison, it's 15 to 5. So Sham Prasad doesn't need to really take too many risks here. You're right. Definitely go out, stick to his game plan, whatever that is. Even if it's win on points, win the decision. He's got that championship experience. He's won titles, so he knows what this is like. If it does go to the ground, just stay active on his back. Keep from taking too much damage. Look for your opportunities to attack. Here we go, table of the tape. Sham Prasad for the Bengaluru Tigers, taking on Babaji Chaudhary for the Gujarat Warriors. Both fighters weighed in the same weight. The height advantage goes to Sham Prasad. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, his style, mixed martial arts. He weighed in at 80 kilograms and representing the Gujarat Warriors. Give it up for Baba G. Chaudhry! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, his style kickboxing. He weighed in at 77 kilograms, representing Bengaluru Tigers. Give it up for Sham Prasad! Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the fight, Lal Rosama. Gentlemen. Listen to my commands at all times, watch out for the falls, let's have a clean and technical fight. Touch gloves, and back to corners. Here we go! I've been waiting for this one all night, Harrison. It's going to be a good war, and you know what? Gujarat certainly needs a KO, or a submission, or a TKO now. The pressure's really on Babajit. He's got to get, come out quick, set the tone, and me. Sham, feel it. Just let him know. I don't want to be in the ring with this guy. Put that fear in early. Sham needs to just be patient. Work for the victory. He doesn't need a finish. He doesn't need a TKO. No. Submission or knockout. He just needs to try and win. Sham could also be looking to take his time. Let Babajit. Babajit carries a lot of muscle on that frame. Maybe look to gas him out and look for his openings in round number two. But we all know the first five minutes inside that cage with Babajit can end within the blink of an eye. Sham Prasad knows that very well. He's had championship experience. Oh, big body kick. Beautiful switch kick and he kicks hard. Shyam's got to be careful about reaching down like that. If Babajit decides to come up over the top to the head, he's going to eat that on the chin and that'll be the end of the fight, giving the Warriors exactly what they needed. You can see he's looking for that leaping left hook. Is Babaji tries to return with a kick of his own. Does Sham. 
both fighters staying patient Sham needs to move off that cage keep moving get on his bike and make himself a moving target Sham showing some good movement Babajit's not really striking and covering much space he's kind of lunging in from where he is so it's hard for him to throw follow-up steps or get in the way and keep Shams back to the cage both fighters taking it easy so far and you see Shyam, he started to load up on that right hand and Babajit's got to be careful rushing in that he doesn't run straight into that right hand and especially when you're moving into it that punch is going to hit that much harder Babajit needs to throw some more feints here Sham Prasad showing his experience oh big body kick oh huge right hand big right hand oh you might be hurt here big shot oh man he certainly got his attention with that body kick left and right combo he might still be hurt here he's backing up Bam! he's out big kill wow and again look there at that power there you see it man oh shit man oh this man is he not be good hurt. You can see him, he's shaking. That was a brutal shot. Very heavy. He set it up with the hands early. This is a scary knockout. He is legitimately hurt right now. You can see uh, Babaji trying to check up on his opponent. The doctor's checking on Sham Prasad. They need to... That's incredible. You know what? We're going to go to the results now, but we all know that's a whooping six points for the Gujarat Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Zawa called the stop to the fight. In the first round, in two minutes and five seconds, declaring the winner by knockout from the red corner, Babaji Chandra. Ladies and gentlemen, the score now stands at 11 points for the Gujarat Warriors, while Bangalore still stand at 15. That was incredible. What a performance by Babajit. Brings the Gujarat Warriors up to 11 to 15.